Hello and welcome. This is just a quick video on how I've set up my um, controller, which is using Serato, as you can see, um, to route through OBS. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's Serato or Virtual DJ or Tractor or any other piece of equipment that you're using. Um, the routing is simply the same. It's very basic and it'll work on pretty much any system that's got either some sort of a master out or like in my case a booth out. Um, this particular deck has a boot out on the phono there or the RCA as you see the them guys there we would all know them as these kind of guys. Basically just RC is there. Um, this particular deck, as I say, has the phonos there, but its master output is XLR, so I can't use the master out. So what I've done is that cable there is simply going in to basically it's the mic in. Now my laptop doesn't have a mic in so basically what I've done is I've purchased one of these guys so you can see in the green it's like earphones or volume for earphones and the pink is for your microphone. You plug it in and you simply plug your mini jack. So this cable here, like I say, is either going from your master out or your boot out. So that's the way I've set it up. So these guys either into your master or your boot out. Okay. Now some laptops will have a mic in. So you won't need this USB adapter. Now they're quite cheap. I think they're only a few euros on Amazon. So they're handy. So basically that's my output going straight into um, my laptop. Okay. So that's all you need. Just the out and straight into the mic of your laptop. So in your laptop, open up OBS and there you can see mic or auxiliary, okay? Now, if you have a microphone port already, great, then you just select that and you should be, should be ready to roll once you start to DJ. Down here in my computer, because it's a USB, I've got to select the recording, which is that device there. Okay, so that's the one you would select to route the audio through the USB to OBS. Now, if I go down here, to my deck most people are going to say okay how does the queue work because you know you're rooted through the the computer well it's quite simple here on the earphones out it should just work as standard but what I've done myself is I've used the same cable here which is the RCAs to the mini jack Except here, this cable I have is my earphones. It can be either a jack, TSR, or a mini jack. And at the end of this cable, I've got these guys, the RCAs. And they're simply plugged into the back of my amplifier. So what that means is, is that 
This is going into the back of my amp, down there. And what it's doing is, it's routing the earphone audio that you would normally hear on your earphones down to the sound system. So I can select a channel here on my mixer. So let's say we want to play channel one here. Okay, so I'm going to play channel one. Now, I can hear channel one. You can hear channel one, but the volume is down, look. So, I just turn it up here. So basically, I'm turning this up, OBS. I get up here. OBS was that recording. So this is, let's imagine this is the one you're playing to the crowd or what people on the live stream are hearing. I can select Q there, depending on your own one. Turn up the volume there, you don't have to, but you can if you want. And I can Q up my next song. Now I know crowd are not going to hear it. Why? Well, forcing my crossfader is over. We all know that one basic stuff. I turned on the music here a bit. So you can probably hear me. So, on your cues here for your, for your earphones, I can select what's going to the master. Or I can select what I want to hear. You know yourself like split Q. So I want to mix in this next song. But I want to hear it before the crowd hears it. You can hear it there, look. So. So I can hear that. You can hear it, but the public or the people on stream, they only hear this guy. Because it's rooting out here from the master. Let's turn this guy down a bit. So that's basically it. So all you need is your master out or your boot out. Going straight into your mic, mic input. I uh, stop the music here, so you can hear me. So, like I say, phone out into a mini jack, microphone record, and you can record in an OBS. And then you can just either listen to your normal earphones, like you normally DJ, or like I have here, just use that cable, going to an amplifier or whichever you wish. Um, that's the way I've done this routing with, with Serato. Now, there is a downside to that. To this. You have to be careful of the volumes um, in the mic and so on, but I guess that's the same in any piece of equipment or, or sound output. Now, I have this guy here. Um, you see, it's a, a USB sound card. And you can see it's it's got inputs and outputs it's a usb sound card very very cheap um it's got the digital input there earphones out volume i think you probably get it for i got this i think for something like 15 euros so maybe 10 or 12 dollars or something like that now i haven't figured out how to route um serrated through this but i will be trying my best in the next few weeks to see if i can get it going because um the biggest problem with with all these controllers is that the sound card is in the deck it's not on your computer so the sound card is inside the deck and the companies don't want um the audio routing through obs because they feel it'll impact the audio 
um, which is a lot of BS as far as I'm concerned, because look, um, if you're streaming live and it's not working or it's not sounding right, you won't do it, you know? So um, I don't know why it's such a big deal for, for Denon in particular and why it's so, so awkward, but um, I'm sure there's someone out there who's got a way around it. But for me at the moment, this is the only way I've figured out. Um, so if anybody has any... Um, questions are if there's anybody out there that's using a particular setup um maybe you can post it up as well and help anybody else out there because we're all um here to help each other thanks very much for looking in